Hello, hello, my name is Serge Pelico and uh, today I will hold a session for Code Rage, a session called FMX JS Bridge, how to combine FMX host application and your HTML and JavaScript UI. Exactly what we will discuss today, just like uh, the difference between hybrid apps and native applications, I will talk about uh, and we are talking about mobile applications and desktop applications. Uh, is it possible to develop hybrid uh, application using Delphi and FireMonkey? And uh, how to develop hybrid application using Delphi exactly? I will show you how to do it. Mm. Uh, I will explain uh, which parts uh, do we need for building such kind of application. and. Uh, of course, I will again, provide a couple of those tips and tricks and what's the main challenge for building such kind of applications. In the beginning, let's uh, uh, talk a, a, a little bit about what's, what does it mean, hybrid application. And I'll here I just provide a hybrid app uh, architecture. Uh, you can see that uh, in the bottom we have a, a operating system. Uh, in operating system, we have uh, started native application. Let's call it native host application. And this native host application contains some uh, kind of web browser container, which contains inside our HTML, CSS, and JavaScript content. Uh, this web browser container it can be something based on Chromium or a platform with built-in browser. Uh, for other systems, it can be like a Node.js engine or like something like Cardova. But we are talking about uh, Delphi and FireMonkey, and we will use exactly web browser container, uh, which for different providers based on different engines. And you see that uh, our business logic can be implemented and even separated, divided to different parts. The first one, you can add some business logic to your JavaScript code, sounds like perform REST API calls, uh, connect to any third party SDKs, and so on. Also, the, some of the business logic can, can be located in the native host application, where you can uh, perform uh, access to the platform, to device specific features, and so on. And uh, of course, UI, it will be your uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript content, and of course you can change and manipulate all this code from your host application. This is what we have for hybrid app architecture. And uh, what's the difference between native applications and hybrid applications? Native applications, of course, has the best performance because they work like low-level machine code usually. Uh, but they, of course, have a little uh, process, like something like uh, you cannot update your uh, application UI without updating whole application. And believe me, if you have, for example, 1,100 installations, it's not easy to keep all your clients up to date. And uh, of course, when you're developing uh, native application design, it will be uh, designers for target platforms uh, something like if for, but if you're developing ui using javascript and html you can start it inside your ios application android application or even uh, start directly in your web browser react like google chrome if we're talking about um, if we're talking about uh, hybrid applications uh, uh, we have a amazing possibility uh, to update ui without uh, updating the whole application via uh, Play Market or App Store. Uh, you can use in uh, your uh, hybrid application, you can store your content like HTML and JavaScript locally uh, on your local storage on your device or call it from uh, from the web, less for some web server. Uh, unfortunately, hybrid apps won't have, uh, won't have the best performance, and if, uh, for example, uh, uh, performance is measure, it's uh, it will it will be a cons for you. And uh, uh, like one addition, uh, addition from myself, uh, from my experience, 
uh, with hybrid applications, you have to be very careful with submission to app stores. Here is uh, the architecture of how we can build a hybrid application uh, using Delphi in FireMonkey. Of course, of course, you can find another solutions. I am just explaining only one solution uh, for this session. We have operating system, of course. For operating system for Windows, iOS, Android, or even macOS, we will have Delphi FireMonkey uh, application. It will be native application for each operating system. This uh, our Delphi for Monkey application will have some business logic in, in object Pascal code, and for AI we will have, for example, TV browser component or any analog, which will host inside itself uh, HTML, SSS, JavaScript content. And for communication between your host application and HTML and CSS code, we will have we will use a solution which is called ScriptGate. It's open source solution. You, and you can download it, install your application, I'll show you later how you can do that. Here, why do we need a FMX host, uh, FMX, FI marking host application? Because uh, we, we, we want to have a native application. Of course, you sometimes you cannot directly access platform features uh, from web browser component. This is why we need uh, our host application, which will perform native calls to the uh, platform, to the operating system. And uh, if we will have native application, we will be able to post it and submit it to the app stores. Here is, you see, I provided some of the features which you can call. And what's the challenge? The challenge is uh, organize the communi communication between your uh, HTML and CSS code and web, web, of web application stored inside the browser and your host application. And we will use such solution like I already mentioned called ScriptGate for organizing this communication. You can use uh, Get It Package Manager for your uh, Red Studio and download it and install this package. Okay, let's check how it works. I just prepared a simple application, simple project with only one form. For adding uh, our script gate, I already downloaded and installed from it from Get It. You have to uh, add script gate unit to your project and declare a uh, variable uh, for using with this script gate. We have a little initialization during our startup application startup, which I just loaded uh, our index.html file to TV browser and register it prefix for uh, the script gate for uh, further communication. For transferring data from FMX application to the uh, our HTML and web browser, I used one method and I just imagine that we have some um, device token which we received from the platform. We have some value and we want to transfer it to the web browser and to JavaScript code. You see how it how, how we can do that. And vice versa. For example, we have a button uh, in HTML file and when I click by this button, we are calling send to host. Uh, you see this button? We are calling send to host function, which just uh, will uh, will show and will output some text uh, to the uh, uh, label. Also, I will have uh, a timer inside our JavaScript for, uh, code, and each second we will uh, we will show the counter value again uh, in, uh, for the label uh, for the caption. Let's start. Uh, you see, we have very simple application. After some uh, delay, we got device te token, which were received from the host application. Also, we have a timer, you see, it's, it's, it ticks. And let's just transfer some, some uh, button call to our FMX uh, host application. Oh, you see, send to host, must call to. That's, that's very, very easy example, and you can, of course, expand it and add any functionality you need for your further and future applications. 
This is, guys, what I wanted to show you. You can find the source code by this link. Also, you can reach me in Twitter, and I will, uh, I will answer answer your questions, and I will, will be glad to help you uh, you with your future developments. Thank you very much.